He won't even turn 15 until October, but by then he will have already competed at some of the best in his craft from around the country. Andrew Walker, the 14-year-old Battle Creek golfer, was one of three Michigan golfers invited to play in the U.S. Amateur, becoming the fifth youngest ever to qualify for the tournament. Bobby Jones, you might know that name, was the fourth youngest. He survived a three-way playoff for one of the final two spots, and now he, he's just a normal teenage kid who may soon be on those video games that a kid his age should be playing. I don't know. I, it, it does take a lot of time. It takes a lot of time, but, I mean, it doesn't really feel like a, a burden. It kind of feels like, like people play video games. I play a, a few video games here and there, but it kind of feels like that to me. It, it's a thing I enjoy doing, so it's not like, oh, I have to go out to the golf course. It's, let's go to the golf course. I think they said I'm one of the youngest in the history, so I, that's, that's cool. Um, I guess it's, it's taken time to sink in, kind of. Um, I, I, I don't think I've really grasped how big it is yet, so, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. You know names like uh, Bobby Jones? Yeah. yeah Do you know yeah, who a yeah. uh, guy named Jack Nicholas is? Yes. Guys that have competed in the U.S. Amateur. I mean, this is the best in the country, and to understand that you've been invited to play at such a young age, what does that kind of do? for your confidence in this game? Because golf is a game where you gotta have confidence to play it. Yeah, um, it, it really boosts my, boosts my confidence and my morale. It gives me a kind of, it adds to the fuel, I guess. Because I, I don't want to just go there and play in it. I want to try and contend and actually be a force to be reckoned with, I guess. To say win it. So, yeah, I'm trying to go out and win it is um, just I'm just gonna go out and try and do the best that I possibly can. So, and it I guess it it does add add to the the desire to want to want to get to be the best I can possibly be. For me, if if like if from what I've experienced, if golf was taken away from me, I mm, it wouldn't be life. <laughs> Basically, is there anything about the game that you particularly enjoy? Definitely making a long putt. I really get excited about that. And then, like you said, chipping in, and then every now and then holding, holding out from the fairway for an eagle. Um, I've done that a few times this year. So yeah, that that really gets me excited. But the whole game, it just, it's just exciting. This tournament, the U.S. Amateur. Is it, do you think it'll be the toughest tournament you've played in thus far in your life? Yeah. I mean, just. I mean, I mean, I've. Yeah, I, I do think it will be, basically, or uh, mostly because I'm playing against. It's the U.S. amateurs, so I'm playing against the best people, best amateurs in the United States. So, yeah, I, I think it'll be the toughest field I've ever played in, competitively. So. Where. Where do you want golf to take you, or what's your dream with this game? Where do you want to eventually end up? I want to eventually end up on the PGA Tour and being one of the best players in the world. The best, if, if I can get there. So uh, it's, it's a journey, but yeah, that's, that's my dream. I want to become, I want to get to the PGA Tour and, ah, I want to get to the PGA Tour and become one of the best players to ever play the game. I mean, I, I like, I'm kind of competitive. I like to be good at a lot of things, and I think golf, mainly, I want to be the best I can possibly be. So I guess that's what's keeping me going. Andrew will keep going. He'll travel to Brookline, Massachusetts on August 12th to contend for that U.S. Amateur title.